Hello everybody and welcome to Homestead for a Living. Hopefully you can hear me as the wind's blowing a lot in the camera and the wind is what I want to talk about right now. We're about to get some really strong winds here in Tennessee and throughout the southeast and probably beyond. And I want to talk about some of the things we do on our property, um, namely windbreaks, um, to protect ourselves from the wind. We're at the top of a hill here so we can get some really strong winds here and they can do plenty of damage to our crops and to our animals and to our infrastructure. Um, so fortunately we were very blessed here when we moved to this property it had recovered mostly from being a cow pasture and had become this scrubby growth. You, growth. you can see there's a lot of this 10, 15 year growth of really small trees everywhere. So that meant we got to pick and choose our trees that we kept and the ones that go. And so while this area is largely left untouched still, what we're keeping on the outer perimeter of the property are these lines of evergreens, particularly cedars and juniper trees. And because they do such a good job year round of slowing down this wind. Here at the top of the hill where there's a driveway back there and open yards where people are uh, growing their grass crop, <laughs> we get the strongest winds of all and so that's where it's really crucial to have this windbreak of evergreens um, and what not everywhere actually has these evergreens ready in some spots we're actually planting them out or transplanting them i should say where we move them from one portion of the property to another and so here where the wind is strongest and we want the privacy the most up at this top field we started planting or replanting these junipers and cedars and then next to them we will be adding other shrubby plants. We're going to do lines of elderberry, lots of thorny plants, blackberries. We're just going to get the shrubby, thorny, evergreen hedge going on. And so that's going to give us wind protection year round and really help slow that down before it hits the stuff that we really don't want to get blown over. And so that's just a very quick tip that I thought about since we're battening down the hatches for this wind today that hopefully y'all can find useful and apply. Really every property, just about every property, unless there's something in the context that says otherwise, should probably have a windbreak of trees around it. When the dust bowl happened, in the 20s and 30s a lot of that largely was caused by people getting greedy and completely clear cutting their fields and leaving no boundaries so all of that dust could just be picked up by the wind and all of their topsoil could be removed and it, it was a great contribute to the great depression other than the you know intentional things that the government did of course to cause that um, and it devastated a lot of people a lot of communities and a lot of states so you can avoid that <laughs> plant some evergreen trees and get that going around the property boundary as long as you, if you can afford that if you have enough room for it um, and there are other faster ways you can get that going as well. You can plant things like poplars that grow really quickly. You can even do, if you're on a very small lot, things like canna and just plants that bush out and grow fast will at least give you some protection and might be kind of a sacrifice plant for that wind. But in the end, the best things are going to be these nice hardy evergreens, especially if you keep them kind of low and they get all bushy. They will catch that wind, stop it, they'll take the brunt of the force, and they'll thrive and do fine in, in the midst of it. So hopefully that's useful to everybody. In the meantime, y'all stay safe in this wind. Be well and happy homesteading.